Hi guys! Another day, another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about work permit extension in Poland. So if you're interested to this topic, please keep on watching. So thanks for one of our commenters. He said in our previous video that he says that I have work permit that expired on September 2023 and I'm not ready to go yet. So is it okay for me to extend it? So again, I'm not professional, so I only research on my own. That's why I will be putting down in the description box all the reliable sources that I think will help you if you're going to um, study regarding extension of work permit in Poland. So without further ado, let's answer this question. answer the question of Giloski Dudel, if I pronounce your name right. We will talk about extension of work permit in general. And you're already working here in Poland, but then your work permit is already reaching the expiration of its validity. This video is for you. To answer your question, it is definitely yes. If you're still here in Poland, you still want to work with the same employer and you're carrying type A and type B work permit which the validity is about to expire, your employer must apply for an extension for your work permit. Your employer must submit for an extension of your work permit to the Voivodeship office having competent registered office address or place of residence. So please be noted that in case you cannot specify the principal place of work performed by a foreigner due to its nature the application for the extension of work permit must be submitted to Warsaw Voivodeship office when should an employer complete this procedure application for the extension of work permit should be submitted not earlier than 90 days and no later than 30 days before the expiry of the period of validity of the work permit. In our previous example, Guloski Dudel, work permit will expire on September 2023. So you have to compute 90 days prior to that. So as early as June and not later than August, your employer should apply for an extension of your work permit. So where your employer should submit the application for an extension, in Poland, there are 16 Voivodeship offices, so depending on the place of registration or the place of residence, your employer should submit the extension for the work permit in the respective Voivodeship office. How to proceed or the mode of submission of the extension for work permit? First, we have the traditional way and second, your employer can submit the application electronically. First is the traditional way where your employer can submit through post or through Voivodeship office. Well, the second option is through submitting the application for an extension electronically. Next question is how to submit the application for the extension. The best way is to submit the application through this website. Click CC-WPZ application for extension of work permit for a foreign national in Poland. Complete the electronic application, attach electronic copies or the scanned copies of the required documents. Sign the application using your electronic signature or your trusted profile. In case there are problems with electronic application, like formal deficiencies in the documents attached, the Voivodeship office will contact your employer. 
So you may also send your application by traditional post. In this case, I suggest that you should have a confirmation receipt because this document will serve as a confirmation that the application for extension has been submitted. So in this case, it is the yellow card with a stamp that the boy by the chef office received your application. So if you decide to submit your application for extension in person at the boy by the chef office, please remember that each boy by the chef office may set their own guidelines on how to submit the application. Before visiting, you can check their guidelines through calling or going to their websites. Also put down below links of the website of 16 Boy by the Ship Office. So what are the documents needed for the extension of work permit? Your employer must submit the following. Number one, completed application for the extension of work permit. Number two, proof of payment fee. Number three, identity document. Number four, excerpt from the Register of Entrepreneurs from the National Court Register. Number five, deed of partnership or articles of association. Sixth, notarial act on the establishment of a joint stock company. Declaration of the company on the clean criminal record. Travel document of a foreign national or the passport. Documents confirming professional qualification, labor market test, or the Poviet Staros opinion. Documents confirming the compliance of the foreign national and the employer applying for a work permit. Information regarding number of the employees of the company. Statement of profit or loss of the company. Lastly is the power of attorney. The Chief Office will examine your application once you submitted all the required documents. If your application contains any formal defects, in case there are missing documents, the Viva the Chief Office will request you to correct the said errors within 7 days. If you did not correct this within the specified deadline by the Viva the Chief Office, your application will not be further processed. If you finish all the steps, the Boy by the Chef Office will issue a decision. There will be three decisions, one for the Boy by the Chef Office, one for the employer, and one for the foreigner. The question is how much is the fee for the extension of work permit? 50 PLN, fee for extending a permit of a foreign national for up to three months. While 100 PLN is the fee for extending a permit for a foreign national for more than three months. The fee must be paid to the Barbadoship office where you submit your application for the extension. The next question is how long does it take to process an extension of work permit? The Barbadoship office should issue a decision no longer than one month or 30 days. So in particularly, complex cases may take up to two months. The Barbadoship Office will notify you accordingly. In my next video, I will talk about what are the reasons why there is refusal for the extension of work permit and what are also the reasons for revocal of the work permit and how you can appeal to the Barbadoship Office. That's all. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing and comment down below. I can also make another video to answer your questions. It means a lot to me. That's all. Thank you and bye bye.